Hi, I'm Jeff Allstott, and together with this great team, we've been working with the World Bank Group this summer on detecting uh, fraud, collusion, and corruption. So the World Bank, their mission is to alleviate global poverty. And their primary method for doing this is giving loans to developing countries to the tune of about $30 billion a year. So those countries then spend the money on projects like schools and roadworks and whatnot. And the mechanism they do that is they hire companies, private companies, suppliers, to perform those uh, services and supply those goods. Now, the process of the selection is supposed to happen in an open, competitive uh, bidding environment. However, it frequently can be the case where a supplier is corrupt or commits fraud or is colluding with other suppliers. So you can have a situation such as this where you have three suppliers who have agreed, we're all going to give very high bids, and one of us will give a slightly lower bid, and that will be the winner because it's the lowest bid. And then we'll just rotate between us which one is the one that wins for that year. And so all the suppliers make more money, but then the country doesn't get as many good services for its dollar, and this dilutes the World Bank's uh, effectiveness with its loans. So the total cost of collusion and fraud around the world for all of World Bank's activities can be in the hundreds of millions of dollars per year. So this is a significant issue. So what our group has been doing this summer is collecting data from the World Bank and other sources to give World Bank investigators information on these companies and what they've been up to historically. So an example of the sort of uh, context that we can now give the World Bank is a procurement network. So here we have a company, General Electric, in the big green dot. And then in blue are all the projects that uh, General Electric has been involved with. But additionally, you can see in the green are the other companies that have been on those projects. Then the little orange dots are other companies that have been investigated and found to be colluding or committing fraud and so on. So this is an example of a feature that can be used to try to predict whether or not this company or a given contract could be fraudulent. You can see that being close, being proximate to another uh, company that's not performing so well could be an indicator. So this concept of risk and evaluating risk and giving some projection of risk is what we're really trying to accomplish. So this is data from 300 odd thousand contracts that the World Bank has been involved with over the past uh, two and a half decades. And in red, we have those contracts which our models have found to be particularly risky, particularly high uh, levels of maybe there's collusion or fraud going on here. So in the past, up until this moment really, the World Bank has been primarily a reactive investigator. It needs a whistleblower to come forward and say, there's a contract here that is having some problems with it, and then the World Bank can go investigate it. However, with tools like this, the World Bank can be more proactive in its activities, and so it can say, ah, the, the forecast is that this contract likely isn't so good, and then they can go investigate it. So with mechanisms such as this, we're hoping to lower the incidence of collusion and fraud, and thus make those uh, loans all the more effective, and thereby increase uh, the World Bank's effectiveness in combating global poverty. Thank you.